India and UK are close to sign a pact on electric propulsion system for next generation warships. Nearly two months after Qatar's Interior Ministry released eight Indian Navy veterans, uncertainty shrouds the return of the eighth naval veteran, who is currently facing a travel ban. Senior officials of India and Iran discussed plans for closer defense cooperation between the two nations. The Houthi rebels have once again shot down a $30 million American MQ-9 Reaper UAV, using an Iranian-made 358 missile that costs just $70,000. The Indian Navy swiftly assisted a Panama-flagged crude oil tanker with 30 crew members including 22 Indians, after the vessel came under missile attack from Houthi militants. The Indian Navy is currently testing the capabilities of micro-AVs developed by Bharat Electronics Limited by launching them from warships, that allows for the deployment of these autonomous vehicles in various locations, without relying solely on dedicated minesweepers. According to leaked internal reports from the US Air Force, the actual effective range of the Chinese PL-15 missile against another fighter jet is around 140 km, while the PL-15E export variant inducted by Pakistan has a practical range of just 105 km, potentially negating any advantage for Pakistan Air Force's J-10CE fighters, which Pakistan had bought to counter India's Rafale fighter jet. French engine manufacturer Safran and Hindustan Aeronautics are gearing up for the local production of key components of M88 engines, and the establishment of an advanced MRO facility for Rafale fighter jets. The maintenance repair and overhaul facility specifically dedicated to Rafale's M88 engines will be operational by next year, that will provide comprehensive engine support for the Indian Air Force's Rafale fighter jets. It will be equipped to handle routine servicing, ensuring the smooth operation of the M88 engines, and also conducting in-depth overhauls at designated intervals, thus extending the lifespan and operational efficiency of these engines. Steel Authority of India Limited has developed next-generation steel, that has been specifically designed for the S-5 class of nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines. The new submarine steel is currently undergoing a comprehensive testing phase, and this multi-year process ensures the steel meets the demanding performance requirements for underwater applications. Only after rigorous evaluation, this deal will be cleared for use in constructing the 12,000-ton S5 class SSPNs. The DRDO has set its sights to procure a mobile sea-based missile launch platform, that will revolutionize testing of newer missiles. Traditionally missile testing occurs at dedicated launch pads located inland, but they come with limitations, as testing a new missile comes with a higher risk of malfunction, that often necessitates clearing nearby villages for safety reasons. The RDO's proposed sea-based launch platform offers enhanced safety, greater flexibility, reduced environmental impact and faster testing cycle. Hindustan Aeronautics has already begun testing the CATS Warrior concept using scale models, and these initial trials have provided valuable data on the drone's flight characteristics, and will pave the way for the development of a full-scale prototype. The program is expected to progress rapidly, with anticipated full-scale prototype trials commencing by 2025. The CATS Warrior will feature an advanced composite airframe with low observable characteristics, and will be equipped with weapons bays located on its underbelly. Today's top 3 comments.